Okay. Well, there's nothing like a nice relaxing day out fishing. I don't know why these guys don't just... Come on, I'm trying to fish here. Okay, so if we're going to go fishing, um, we're going to need bait and um, because it's 100 fishing power and that's going to make a big difference to anywhere you're going to fish. Plus, if you've got the um, if you got your skills up, when you assume you've got all your skills all the way up, that's going to give you an extra 100 for fishing on a full tank. So, yeah, we definitely want bait. Um, any sort of bait is better than no bait, obviously. But um, if you're going for the uh, achievement, people were asking me, uh, well, some people are new to fishing are asking me, um about it and let's face it if you're going to catch all the fish and do all the achievements you're going to need the right sort of bait and the right sort of place so i thought i'd just throw in a video of my favorite place to get bait it's all pretty simple and pretty easy and most people are going to know it but uh, if you're new to it you might have not know exactly where the easiest places are because they're all over the place in silly places so um, i thought i'd do a quick video of where i get my bait so number one place we're going to start is um is New Caning City um, because uh, we're gonna. This is the sort of the starter levels for fishing. Um, you're going to start over at uh, the on the island there, uh, but you know you're not going to necessarily. You'll find some bait there, or you're probably not going to do a lot of fishing before you get here anyway. And I'm going to assume everyone's got all the map or and just decided to do some fishing because they've done everything else. So. Uh, yeah, the easier one here, I just go on the docks here uh, and get bait, and it's a good default bait because it's easy to get, and they hide around here in the little market. One of the baits you're going to use, of course, is mackerel. You're going to fish up some mackerel, you get it in cages in the ocean, and um, but you can also just buy it with, with um, fine fish fillets. Uh, it's a funny one, uh, mackerel, because like it's the cheapest bait in some ways because you just pick fish it out of the ocean or you just swap it with fine fish but if you're actually buying it if you actually buy the fish to buy the mackerel it actually works out a little bit expensive and it is the highest one at 150 so when you want that extra push realistically you want it because it um you need certain fish will only catch on on mackerel so uh that's the only way to really get that is either by fishing or swapping it here uh fine fish you're going to get plenty of that so you can just swap up as much mackerel as you want so that's a nice easy one and you use it all over the place especially in your lot of your deep sea uh your saltwater fish are going to need that one that's an easy one you get that anywhere anywhere you find a fish monger and they're right next to your fishing supplies generally so you know they're gonna be they're gonna be easy to find uh, here we're going to get your well, plus we can uh, get our lures but we'll find where we can get a hundred lure later once you get the skills up you're going to want to get the the 100 fishing power lure or just buy the one from the infinite one which if you're doing a lot of fishing if you're going you're going to spend 50 60 100 hours trying to get the achievement uh, you might as well get the infinite lure uh, but here we get sardines and shrimplings shrimplings we use all over the place uh, on several maps mostly around here but we will use it uh, in several places and i do believe sardines as well check my little sheet do we have sardines yeah sardines are used quite a lot as well so sardines and shrimplings are one you want you can also get your bag of creepy crawlies uh, a little bit dear but you do get a good selection of different ship things if you just want to take a random punt and see what you get you can get a lot a bunch of different um, uh, random selections there not necessarily what you want <laughs> which is why we're doing this um, but I they do work out not cheap but you can get 250 for about you know like obviously there 60 silver will get you because uh, they have 25 lots so they'll get you you know 250 so you can get a stack of each of those for 60 silver so yeah it's a bit of an investment stocking up all your bait but you don't have to buy it all at one time i do carry when i'm just fishing around i just carry all the bait i just keep them in my bank and, or on the character on a fishing character and i just throw them on the character or just go out with that character yeah shrimplings mostly you're going to use them around around uh around this area but like i say you're going to use them all over the place but uh, good good little default one to use here uh, in this map, I think you also use mackerel, so you're going to want that as well. So, 
And while we're in Cantha, we might as well go across the Echovold uh, Wilds. Uh, which is a fun place to fish down in all this swamp. Um, you're going to need specialised bait for down in here, and this is also used in other parts of the uh, the world. And like a lot of the baits, you will will fish them while you're fishing. You will get a lot of them, especially fish eggs and worms and various things. But you're going to need to buy some of them, especially when you're starting off. So here we can get our glow worms. And our freshwater minnows. Freshwater minnows you can get in quite a few places. Um, but the uh, the glowworms, this is probably the best place to get them. This is where I always come and get my glowworms, which are good for fishing in this swamp. And uh, a few places actually, glowworms. Where do we use glowworms? Uh, no, go glowworms are just really for here. Must be the other ones I'm thinking of, night crawlers. Uh, yeah, glowworms, which is pretty much just use them here. So if you want them, you're going to have to come here. But it's handy that they're right next to where you need them. And for the rest of Cantha, we've got Dragon's End. I always like to try and find places that are, are close to the, um, the waypoint. This one's not too bad. Just duck over the hill here. They're right down below here somewhere. This is not a one I come to very often, but... Um, fishing supplies here you will fish up cans of worm now and then but uh, yeah if you need to buy them it's a good place to buy them as any uh, you can also get your jade fishing lure uh, but that's not about that's not what this is about right now but yeah, you want to get either the jade or the amber uh, and uh, more shrimplings but we already got nowhere to get them a lot easier in here but this is a good place to get uh, those and the worms the worms are used quite a bit across the world I think can of worms where we got worms or worms, worms, worms night crawlers no they're just here really you don't uh, you don't come here often because you only need worms for here and this is not a bad place to fish but there's better places to fish <laughs> let's face it but one of my favorite places to fish is out on the desert here uh mostly because i've got a ticket i can just run into um into the lily there but otherwise you just go to this waypoint uh and uh oops wrong way uh, this is a fairly lucrative place to fish. It's it's relatively bad guy free. Uh, not too many dangerous fish. Easy fishing. Well, not easy, easy. You need a good, you know, reasonable skill set. But uh, it's easy on the respect of nice clear waters, sunny days, good weather. <laughs> and uh, the bait's right on the... You can get your... Um, probably will need some mackerel here. You can get it right there. And otherwise, we need some scorpions, and scorpions are right there. Pretty much all you can buy here is scorpions. But you need scorpions and mackerel. I don't think you need much else here, but uh, I always carry everything anyway. But mostly you want your scorpions and mackerel, and uh, right here on the docks. And usually some fishing holes right there as well, so nice and easy. Same price as everything, and you can always get your bag of creepy crawlies, of course. Which, uh, I've got to work out how many you get for those. I have to see how much you actually get. I haven't worked out how much you get for those. For 20 silver, they're quite dear, but you do get a, quite a few stacks of of, um, of bait, which probably works out cheaper if um, if you happen to get the right stuff you want. Pride is pretty well covered by um, the bait we've uh, picked up already. So we'll duck across to um, Shiver Peaks. Uh, Shiver Peaks, I always go to uh, Two Loops. Where's Two Loops? Yep, I'm at two loops. Uh, two loops uh, waypoint because um, the quaggins have the local bait available here. If I can find it somewhere over here, uh, in one of these one of these little mean houses, trader fishmonger. Uh, if we duck in to see the quaggins, they've got these ramshorn snails, which we're going to need for around this area. Also have shrimplings, so. Uh, if we need them, emergency bag of crawlies we can ho be hopeful about. Uh, antiques if you're desperate, which um, you won't be because you've stocked up on good lures somewhere else. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're just a shiver peaks one. So yep. So uh, that's all we're going to need them for. But you do go through quite a lot because it uh, takes a while to get some of these fish. And if we need some specialised bait for Ascalon, uh, I always go to this uh, this little loopy lake here in Iron Marches. Uh, I usually run around here when I'm doing the fishing anyway, so uh, 
This is as good a spot as any to pick up our bait, which is right here, nice near the, the waypoint. And what do we got here? We have our fish eggs and our lightning bugs. Um, fish eggs are something you can buy in quite a few places. Uh, I don't always buy them here, but um, you can get them here. But you do fish a lot of fish eggs, so whether you actually need to buy them, you might need to buy a few to start with, but you're going to pick them up along the way. Uh, mostly you want to get here your um, lightning bugs because uh, that's one of the, the local ones. Is it only for here? Pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much an Ascalonian only one. So, uh, yeah, this is the place you get them. Uh, you can also get your freshwater minnows, which are around the place, and... Uh, some specialized fish eggs uh, right here and then yeah we just fish get on our boat just out here and go round and round and round and round around the lake you want to be on the ball here because they're uh, here and Shiver Peak's got dusk dusk dawn fish well a few of them do but some of the maps have quite a few so you want to have your bait online and ready for that a lot of bad guys in the water here too which is a bit of a problem but uh, oh well what are you going to do now with um maguma fishing uh you want to fish in uh spark fly fen ha 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 uh name our caladon and caladon where else um no that's the main thing where you're going to be fishing uh down the river here maybe in metrica uh, to get the river fish but uh, yeah if you wanted to fish in those areas uh, you're going to need the uh what is it spark fly lava uh, only place i've been able to actually find that is in rada Sum. i'm not sure if it's available anywhere else but that's the only place i've found them uh on the docks here in rada Sum. so um some places are certainly some baits are really just seem to be found in the one spot so um it's my fish mungo. There's my fishing supply. So I just, uh, yeah, I come down here to get them spark fly love, which are cute little blue things. Uh, and you also got some sardines. Uh, have we found somewhere else that fishes sardines? I don't know, but you can get sardines if nowhere else. Uh, sardines you can use at quite a different, few different places. And this is one of the places you can get sardines. Uh, and it's nice and safe here. I don't know what the fishing's like here. I haven't tried do fish a lot at Lion's Arch, but I haven't fished here, to be honest. I'm not sure what sort of holes they got. Saltwater fish. Okay, so that's a good place for saltwater fish. Uh, yeah. Uh, you want to fish in saltwater fish if you want to get the saltwater fish. Actually, you know, collection done. Fishing in ore, which is a lot of fun. I mostly do that in the Straits of Devastation. Uh, because I think it's only got... Oh, yes, yeah, two types of holes there. You've got shore holes and offshore uh, mostly fish right in there, uh, and I don't know if there's anywhere in there that actually has bait. I always go to Siren's Landing to get my bait, um, which is over on a boat over here, and which is interesting, really. I wonder if um, there is somewhere else to get that bait. I haven't seen it yet. So... Um, whether they're expecting you to have a living world for this, I don't know. But uh, this is where I go to get it anyway, which I can get the leeches. Um, so uh, you can not fish them occasionally, I suppose. Oh, I, although I don't remember seeing them. Also sardines, which is a common bait. But uh, So lots of ways to get sardines. Um, but yeah, leeches, as far as I know, this is the only place I know to get leeches. So um, yeah, which is a living world map that's where i get them anyway and um use them quite a bit in ore not that uh i fish that much in ore but uh, occasionally it's a good fun place to fish and if you're doing the collection you're going to have to come here uh one of the other bait one of the other baits you're going to use uh across various places on the map uh especially around the windswept islands or well some of these islands uh and uh what's this one called ishten uh, I tend to fish on sand swept island. Some people prefer the other one. Um, uh, but if you need fish eggs, you're going to get plenty of fish eggs running around. And there's some other place you can buy fish eggs if you need them. Generally, you are going to get plenty. But if you desperately need to buy them, they are out here on the wharfs. Uh, which is a bit of a run from the, um, from the waypoint. But um, like I say, you very rarely come out here to these because you're just going to get plenty of fish eggs. 
But uh, there's also a cub there who's, you know, if you just want to get a bag of um, mixed creepy coolies, grab him from him because he, he's got to support his family. Uh, I don't know what a parent had some trouble with his dad. It's, it's a long story. But this guy here also sells some fish eggs. So, yeah, that's a good easy place to get those. But you're not going to buy many of those things. I certainly don't. And for the funnest place to fish, and actually it's not too bad once you get going, uh, always fun to fish in boiling waters of uh, Dracronus Mons, um, I go over here to the circus guys to get the uh, local beetles, whatever they are, lava beetles. But yeah, uh, the lava beetles because um, these circus guys shipwrecked here have diversified and they now, now sell bait as well. Uh, so, which is handy. I don't know where they catch the lava beetles, but I don't ask. But they got the lava beetles, so um, really just for here, isn't it? Lava beetles, lava beetles, lava beetles. Yep, they're just for just for ring of fire. Uh, so they're just a local one. So it's handy that they're here in the locals. And of course, if you've got arbor stone, then you've got a little bit of bait outside there. Uh, which I often, you know, because I'm camped here, I will come over and get any, like, desperation bait if I want. Uh, grab a few of the uh, bags of creepy crawlies. Uh, you also get freshwater minnows here. So I often use freshwater minnows. Well, for a while I was just using freshwater minnows as the sort of default bait when I desperately need a bait. You get your amber fishing lure here. So you've got, you can go to Dragon's. Is it Dragon's End? What is the name of that map? Dragon's End, yeah. Dragon's End to get the Jade one or Amber one from here. Uh, I think you can get the Amber one in Echoville as well, somewhere like that. Uh, the, in the other Echoville one. Uh, they're both the same price. I'm fairly sure they're the same price, so it's just your choice of colour, really. Uh, make a creepy cause. But yeah, the minnows here, I often just stock up on minnows. And of course, you get your Spirit Wood fishing right here, which is... Uh, yeah, it's... Not cheap to build. It's these dang spirit wood planks that uh, you've got to either make over 10 day period, which I just tend to make them daily anyway, uh, when I've got the stuff. And um, yeah, the mithril rings are no problem, and some string. Uh, so yeah, you can make that. Unfortunately, you do have to finish the, the fish collection. Catch all the fish, of which there are a few. In the world, I haven't got that guy yet. Because he's expensive. He needs a lot of fish. He needs like 10 gold worth of fish. And wow, why would I want him? I guess he's fat and sort of cute. 